What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Bible study. Back here in the book of Zechariah. Zechariah 10. Ask rain from Yahuwah at the time of the spring rain. And we just talked about this in the last chapter of Proverbs. The rain, the spring rain, the autumn rain. But this is ask rain from Yahuwah at the time of the spring rain. And the rain is what brings forth the vegetation. So meaning the the harvest isn't at the time of the rain, but it's after the rain. And when we looked at the the harvest cycles, it seems when when the spring rain comes, when the spring plant is uh, the spring crop is planted. It comes forth in the fall, which could still be summertime. There's a lot of connections to summer. I'm going to just read through a couple scriptures here before we go through the rest of the chapter. Deuteronomy 11, 13 through 14. It shall come about if you listen obediently to my commandments, which I am commanding you today, to love Yahuwah your God and to serve him with all your heart and all your soul, that he will give the rain for your land in its season, the early and the late rain, that you may gather in your grain and your new wine and your oil. And Jeremiah 5 But this people has a stubborn and rebellious heart. They have turned aside and departed. They do not say in their heart, Let us now fear Yahuwah our God, who gives us rain in its season, both the autumn rain and the spring rain, who keeps for us the appointed weeks of the harvest. And so the appointed weeks, there, there are two appointed weeks. So there's the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and then there's Sukkot. One is in the spring, one is in the fall. Uh, and if you look at this word up for weeks, um, it can be week. As well, but the majority of the time it's plural is weeks, the appointed weeks of the harvest. See, God gives us a lot of reasons. Uh, we just have to figure it out. He gives us a lot, a lot of reasons to believe that the resurrection, rapture, and all this is going to be during different times. You know, your iniquities have turned these away, and your sins have withheld good from you. Hosea 6.3 So let us know. Let us press on to know Yahuwah. His going forth is as certain as the dawn, and he will come to us like the rain, like the spring rain watering the earth. So this scripture leans toward the spring, the spring rain. But like I just said, the spring rain brings forth the produce brings forth the harvest not at the same time as the rain but after it but again it says uh, he will come to us like the rain Proverbs 16 the fury of a king is like messengers of death so the wrath of God is like messengers represent angels but a wise man will appease it in the light of a king's face is life, and his favor is like a cloud with the spring rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding is to be chosen above silver. And one more scripture. This is out of uh, Joel 2. Do not fear, O land, rejoice and be glad, for Yahuwah has done great things. Do not fear, beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness have turned green. For the tree has borne its fruit. The fig tree and the vine have yielded in full. So rejoice, O sons of Zion. And this is referring to us, sons of Zion. And Zion is the new Jerusalem. And be glad in Yahuwah your God. For he has given you the early, the early rain for your vindication. And he has poured out, he has poured down for you the rain. 
the early and the latter rain as before. So this is something that uh, that God hasn't revealed to me yet completely with the the time of the rain and how how this all works out and what it all means. But uh starting to go through it so I'm just giving you my current understanding of it. As from Yahuwah at the time of the spring rain, Yahuwah who makes the storm clouds, and he will give them showers of rain, vegetation in the field to each man. For the teraphim speak iniquity, and the teraphim is uh, images, small images or cult object, objects used as domestic deities or oracles. Basically, idol, a uh, little physical idol. For the teraphim speak iniquity, and the diviners see lying visions and tell false dreams. They comfort in vain. Therefore, people, therefore, the people wander like sheep. They are afflicted. Because there is no shepherd. Because no shepherd, who this is referring to, there's no shepherd teaching these people. Therefore, they end up as the afflicted. Because there's no one leading them and they end up stumbling. My anger is kindled against the shepherds. And I will punish the male goats. And the goat, the sh well, first off, the shepherds. That's the leaders, the teachers of the believers. And the goats, I will, and I will punish the male goats. We read in Daniel 10. While I was observing, behold, a male goat was coming from the west over the surface of the whole earth without touching the ground. And the goat had a conspicuous horn between his eyes. And so this goat um, is the United States of America. And the horn is Donald Trump. So the goat, and this is where, so this is where most of, most believers come from. Most of Christianity comes out of America. From this male goat. But God said, my, an my anger is kindled against the shepherds, against the pastors, against the leaders of his flock. And I will punish the male goats. For Yahuwah of hosts has visited his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them like his majestic horse in battle. And Judah, that's, that's the Jews. His anger is ki kindled against the against a lot of us but he has visited his people the house of Judah and will make them like his majestic course in battle from them will come the cornerstone that's Jesus the cornerstone the rock from them the tent peg and the tent peg the letter Vav which is ancient in the ancient Hebrew is the letter wow, the W, means hook, spear, or tent peg. And this name is connected, or that, that letter is uh, two of the letters in the, in the four letters of the name of God. Two of the letters is the, the tent peg. From them will come the cornerstone, from them the tent peg, from them the bow of battle, and the bow we read in Zechariah 9, for I will bend Judah, that's the Jews, as my bow, and fill the bow with Ephraim. My anger is kindled against the shepherds, and I will punish the male goats. For Yahuwah of hosts has visited his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them like his majestic course in battle. From them will come the cornerstone. 
from them the tent peg, from them the bow of battle, from them every ruler, all of them together. They will be as mighty men, treading down the enemy in the mire of the streets in battle, and they will fight, for Yahuwah will be with them, and the riders on horses will be put to shame. I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, which represents Christians. And I will bring them back, because I have had compassion on them. And they will be as though I had not rejected them. For I am Yahuwah their God, and I will answer them. Ephraim will be like a mighty man, and the heart will be glad as if from wine. So Ephraim, that's Christians, will be like a mighty man, and their heart will be glad as if from wine. Indeed, their children will see it and be glad. Their heart will rejoice in Yahuwah. Jesus said, every eye will see him. I will whistle for them to gather them together, for I have redeemed them. And that's when he blows the trumpet. That's when he lets his, his voice be heard. I will whistle for them and gather them together, for I have redeemed them. And they will be as numerous as they were before, when I scatter them among the peoples. They will remember me in far countries, and they will bring their children and will live and come back. And they, would, or, and they with their children will live and come back. I will bring them back from the land of Egypt, and gather them from Assyria. See, this speaking about the same place. And I will bring them to the land of Gilead and Lebanon until no room can be found for them. And, you know, the sea, water represents people. And he will strike the waves in the sea so that all the depths of the Nile will dry up. And the, so the Nile and also the Euphrates represents the people of the United States because that's because Egypt and uh, Assyria represents the United States and he will strike the waves of the sea so that all the depths of the Nile will dry up and the pride of Assyria will be brought down and the scepter of Egypt will depart see it's speaking about the same people the same thing and I will strengthen them in Yahuwah and in, in his name they will walk declares Yahuwah That's the end of Zechariah 10. Question is, do you know him? Do you walk in his ways? The kingdom is soon to come. The judgment is soon to come. And the only way to be saved is through the blood of Jesus Christ. If you're not born again by the blood, call out to Jesus. Call out, ask him, pray. Talk to God. If you don't know if this is real or not, if you're not sure whether to believe in God, whether to, to believe in Jesus, whether to believe any of this stuff is real, if this guy's just crazy, ask him, ask God, and he will show you. If you truly seek God, you truly seek Jesus, you will find him. And he will save you. We're living in the last days. Turn to Yeshua. He will give you eternal life. Thanks for tuning in. That's the end of Zechariah 10. Love you guys. Shalom.